And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there. For our third deck in our donation deck Thursday, this is called Jund Devil, because this is a Jund deck built around Mayhem Devil, which is a 3 mana 3 3 that whenever any player sacrifices a permanent, it deals 1 damage to any target. So we get to machine gun down our opponent. If some, you know, if there are just people sacrificing permanents, that could be us. Or it could be the opponent. So if they sacrifice a creature with Angrass Rampage, uh, take one. If we have Vraska do the plus two and we sacrifice a permanent, they take one. If we have God Eternal Bantu sacrifice a ton of permanents, they take a ton. Uh, CJ and Commander sack a goblin, take one. Elvish Reborn sack a creature, take one. Um, Angrath minus steal your thing, sacrifice it and take one. Liliana, we both sack two creatures, take four. That's right, treasure map, sack a treasure, take a damage. Um, yeah, Phoenix token, sack the token, get my Phoenix back, take a damage. So that's what we got going on here. Um, that's kind of, that's kind of our, the, you know, it's the goal of our deck. We're, we're really built around Mayhem Devil. So this looks pretty fun. You know, this will be my first time playing this one here. This was a viewer submitted. This was a boot to the head made this deck. So we'll see how it does. Hopefully it does really well. Um, yeah, Captain Lannery Storm could be kind of decent in this because it could make more treasures to sacrifice and help fix mana. Green doesn't seem like we're using green for a whole lot, but I guess, you know, we can't really deal with enchantments without green. So that's what we have are things that deal with enchantments like Assassin's Trophy, Vraska, Vivian, Crushing Canopy, Thrashing Brontodon, Cinder Vines. Basically, every single green card in here besides Carnage Tyrant can kill an enchantment. <laughs> so I guess that's why we're playing all this green. Um, we're going to use the Nick Cage Duresses, and let's see how it goes. This one looks pretty fun. So we're playing four really fun decks today. Our guy's pretty happy about it. Oh yeah, Carnage Tyrant is not nearly as valuable these days with all these things that say sacrifice. Like, the big Liliana just really shuts down Carnage Tyrant pretty hard. How many lands do we have in this deck? Hopefully we have like 26. We have 25. Uh, okay. Oh, we do have a Blast Zone. Blast Zone, we can sacrifice that. Make them take a damage. Yeah, good question, man. So to submit a donation deck, if you just basically check out the donation panel, uh, the if you go to like the info panels, there's just, I have like a whole lot of stuff of like different different things you can donate for and like uh how much like donation decks cost and all that kind of stuff usually a donation deck is twenty dollars but you can get it um you can also get it for a reduced price or even free if you support any of my sponsors that i have um up in the top left hand corner so, for example, with Harry's Razors here, you can get a starter set for just $3 through Harry's Razors. Um, and then you get a donation deck for only $10 more if you make that purchase. So you can get a donation deck for only $13 if you, and also get a razor and everything. Um, so kind of check out the, the Harry's info panel. It tells you all about how to do that. And then... It, Let's see. Phoenix or Vraska. I don't really want either of these countered. I guess I'd rather have Vraska countered than Phoenix. That was, of course, the worst counter spell to see because that just picks up the campaign.
Pain is the kind of card that I really don't like, like using an assassin's trophy on. But it is just killing us. All right, welcome, Boot. Yeah, I have the or more in the prices because if you if you'd like to donate more, yeah, you, know, you, you can still do that. Or it, but like it has like the minimum or more. That's just some people want to donate more, and they are welcome to. And that's okay. It does zero or more for y for you. That's weird. Oh, it does say zero or more here. Did something? How did that change? All right, I guess I'll have to update that. I'll have to change that. How did? Hmm. Right, let me see if I can fix that. Wait, yeah, do you see the prices correctly? I don't think that was Hawkeye. I think that was just really random. We can see my opponent having another Enter the God Eternals they want to play here. All right, now hopefully we draw this land and we get to steal that with Angrath. That's why I didn't rampage because I want to be able to steal this with with I wanted to be able to steal an eight eight, and we did it. You're just fuel for the fire. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> we did it. I think that should all be fixed now. I think. Alright, so we're playing against Demir stuff. Carnage Tyrant's gotta be good against Demir stuff. 
Um, that's about all I want. I don't want Cry of the Carnarium. I guess Theater Force is good against Demir stuff. Still want to like a lot of this removal in because of Thief of Sanity. We, we have enough removal for Kefnet and um, as Kanta. We don't need Canopy for that. No, Treasure Map's awesome here. I, we definitely want Treasure Map. That's that's one of our best cards. Uh, this would be a matchup where we'd want to have more than four Treasure Maps if we could. All right, we got these Phoenixes. They took over last time. Yeah, Hawkeye's being a cutie. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Treasure map. <laughs> More like Jank Devil. Hey, what's up, Zed? Alright, that's the card I want. I was basically just scrying right now to see if we need to uh, see if I need to do an upkeep scry or not. And we did not. Yeah, I could do a I could do a best of one deck. Um, through a best of one league after the if you don't mind if you don't mind after the Slesnia Titans um, or I could do that tomorrow you know either one yeah opponents been missing they missed a couple land drops because I was on the draw that's my fifth land so yeah they, they missed two land drops I think they molded like maybe five or so <clears throat> yeah we haven't gotten devil Bantu combo yet But I have, I have room tomorrow also for second or third. The only deck I have scheduled tomorrow is fourth. Um, it's a Gatsby's Par Parhelion 2 deck. I kind of want to cast this bond too. Um, we'll just let this get negated. Oh no, no negate! All right, let's look for land. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? I guess we'd get Carnage Tyrant. All right, we starting starting off with a win. We were one to know. Unfortunately, our opponent didn't, didn't get to really play Magic that last game. But Donk a Donk, been streaming on my TV, so I haven't haven't been in chat, but I'm still having fun with your decks. Thank you so much, Todd. Uh, thanks, Badonk. Thanks for signing in, getting that resub going there. That's number six on the day. Okay.
because we got our avatar to match our deck with the uh, Vraska avatar and the Jun deck. That's why we, we did. <clears throat> that's why we did well there. Let's see if it helps us out. Oh no, we need more lands. Okay. Not land. Getting rid of it. I think this deck could be 26, maybe even 27 lands, honestly. Like, we... We really want to hit, like, six land drops. Like, the treasure maps help, for sure. Treasure map really does help. But we can't, we can't like, operate on three lands with this deck. Even like four lands is pretty rough. Our curve is so high. If you wish to surrender now, I have just the trick for this. Ugh. Hey Jeff. Hone your prowess. Dang. I just have all the answers. All right, hopefully we draw something nice here on turn five. Draw something nice. Nope. That Narset was perfect for them. Well, we might as well get one of the... We might as well get the Absorb out of their hand. And just hope this Liliana resolves now. I'm hold that thought. Nope. Unfortunately, Bantu doesn't do anything against Narset, but the combination of Escanta and Teferi, we can't beat that from here. Yep, that's game. Let's skip to the good part. Well, we got anti-control stuff to bring in. That was a good hand for them. Cloud Razor on two, the Narset on three, and then Contempt on four, and then Escanta plus Absorb on five, and then Teferi plus Absorb on six. I don't, I don't think it gets better than that. <laughs> that was pretty good. We'll get all these Duresses, the Carnage Tyrant, the Theater. Let's take out Cast Down. Cry the Carnarium, Cruelty. Um, I mean, our deck is kind of like a, a Devil Bantu deck, but we have so many fives and now sixes. I, I got to cut down these fives and sixes. And Bantu... Like, Siege King at least, like, makes them... I mean, we need, maybe we need to trim down all of it. Uh, no, I'm not really expecting Lyra's, but we still have answers. We're still going to have Contempt, Bedevil, and Trophy, and Rampage. We still are, we're still going to have plenty of answers. Uh, Esper is the reason you don't play F and M anymore. Uh -huh. Well, Esper is losing a lot at rotation to Fairy and Escanta at least. I guess this is why I got Spike Glass in my deck. We should probably get that in.
I'd say you don't hit a fourth land drop a, a reasonable amount of time with 26 lands. I don't know exact percentages or so, but you probably get stuck on three with 26 lands. You know, I don't know, like a quarter of the time, something, I don't know. Go, devils, go. Oh, come on. Responsibility. Don't worry, I got this. Go, Phoenix, go. <laughs> it's a devil on a unicycle. That is true. I had basically anything I was kind of willing to draw, so I, I don't think we need to upkeep. Scry with treasure map. This is hard with my worst feet. Okay, I definitely fixed that the other day. All right, here's the the best one donation deck. Thank you so much, Mink. All right, I got your deck. I need to, I guess I need to refix that alert box. All right, all right, re, reset that. If you show remorse. I'll show restraint. That's more like it. Only time will tell. Hope everything's okay, Matt. But. Yeah, mana troubles are just things that happen uh, to all of us, and just some days are worse than others. And gosh, Carnage Tyrant. Yeah, keep him Carnage Tyrant. Oh, it's easy, easy, easy. 
Give me my mana back. No! Uh, that because there th there's that other trigger. So we were in upkeep, so I didn't get to cast that. So I just wasted a treasure for nothing. All right, now with them getting rid of Phoenix, now we're really close to dying. So much life gain. Right on yeah, I should have killed Thief Keep with pings. I had already targeted the first one, though, whenever I realized that we were going to have the two pings. And it was too late. I ran to trophy to kill Lyra because you know this is only dealing two damage. No more. Well, oh, that didn't pan out. That's how it was meant to happen. All right, so we're down to three. We got everything off the battlefield, except for this Othakaya, but they still have a ton of cards with these insights. Responsibility. Reverse. All right, Carnage Tyrant. You Help us know. out. I'm not done yet. Hopefully no Kai's Wrath. No. Ugh. So I want a Theater of Horrors. 
Yeah, I guess so. We can like ping to fairy with it. Before I make you disappear. Hmm. As long as we win, nothing else matters. We need to move quickly. The problem with drawing a card there is it does turn on Thought Erasure. Finally out of these chemistry's insights. Oh, shouldn't have tapped the treasure cove. <laughs> Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. So our option is is kill a fairy or trigger thief once. I think we kill a fairy. Oh no! Oh my gosh! I just forgot about that thing. Oh, I just forgot about that thing. Uh, oath kills me. I just forgot about that thing. All right, I should have hit them. I just forgot about that stupid oath. Sitting there. Just thinking about so many other things and just forgot about that. Yeah, y'all tried to warn me. It was just a little bit too late. I'd, I'd already clicked it. <laughs> All right, turn two treasure map and a lot of lands is certainly a hand that I want to see with this deck. Well, that's not a bad one. Yeah, I should have killed that oath instead of drawing the card. We didn't need that card. What's our opponent got going on over here? They're a treasure map steamkin deck. What they got going on over here? Oh, we're getting close to our combo. Don't kill my devil. Don't do it. 
No killing devils. Yeah, we could have, we could have two devils and a Bantu. We could maybe just kill our opponent next turn. Close to it, at least. Hmm. Alright, we're a devil deck. Let's play the devil. We would have had to... One damage to them is not really that big a deal. This keeps them from activating their Steamkin at all. Hey, welcome back, Kalua King. For the seventh month of value. Also being sub number seven. So that is perfect. No sword can pierce my scales. <laughs> Magnificent! Hmm. So Liliana minus makes me get rid of the devil. I guess that's our best thing to do. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. Yeah, I, I, I just I want to be able to keep the treasures to be able to draw stuff, but getting rid of all three of those cards, or you know, like the the Sarkin, both of their four fours, this just and having this Liliana in play now, this just sets us up so nicely. Yeah, it's whenever any player sacrifices a permanent. Maybe they're playing a devil deck, too. You never know. I'm getting that thing out of here. <laughs> Rise and shine. Yeah, they're playing a big red deck. Um, splashing green, most likely, for like Cinder Vines and Collision Colossus, like in the sideboard.
Ugh. Stop having those. Alright, that's their third lava coil. I was hoping they were going to be out of lava coils when they already had two, but I guess they got a three. Got, I guess they got a third. Yeah, Phoenix, the egg with Phoenix, you sacrifice the Phoenix egg. So that's a trigger for the de the devil. That's really cool. Stop. All right, we do have a Cry of the Carnarium in the deck. That'd be a nifty one to see. Attack. Death is enlightened. Yeah, I've gotten a couple of the draft bundle cosmetics so far. I've gotten the white and the black, I think. I got the black to be able to get this Obnexus Obnexus cruelty. So I've basically gotten the one so that I've like whenever I've had like one of the cards in it. All right, let me finish. Is it Wizards? Recklessness and fear are the times bathed in ghost fire. Ooh, more devils. All right, well, certainly playing that. All right, so we need to sack 18 permanents to kill them. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, so close. Wait, Bantu can sack itself, right? No, other permanents. It cannot sacrifice itself. This isn't your average zombie horde. Impressive, isn't it? Oh, I do love a good death whale. Got to break free. <laughs> yeah, we, we are playing a one turn kill deck. Ugh. So we're going to cast down the bird. We're going to sack two. You know, we're going to sack two. They're going to sack two. But then our two triggers would have killed their other two. So we would have sacked their whole board. Like their whole board was going to die. Uh, then I would have attacked them for five with a mayhem with the devil and the siege gang.
don't really see anything we want against Big Red in, over here. Let's just keep this the same. And Guided Nun, it's going really well. <laughs> yeah, you really underestimated Mayhem Devil. Yeah, I could just ping, ping everything off. I... Uh, Besides, hey, Unsung, thank you so much. So Rex saying I'm playing a tournament this weekend, MILGS, for a box of Japanese war. Any suggestions? Um, I mean, besides like the regular, like Sultai is really good, Esper is really good. Um, as far as like the kind of like the the. Uh, off the wall decks that I like to bring. Uh, I really, really liked the mono white angels that we played yesterday. I thought that that deck felt that deck felt really good. Um, I can show you my uh, Sultai list after this if you'd like. I changed just just a couple of cards since I played it, like for that metagame challenge. All right, so they're not going to have another lava coil, right? Like they they're not going to just have like all sorts of lava coils every single game, right? Oh yeah, Grixis. Yeah, Grixis is good too. Yeah. Grixis for FNM, absolutely. Attack. I don't really want to actually sacrifice a permanent. I don't want to go down to four lands. And sacrificing the Phoenix makes it pretty vulnerable. They just didn't attack Golgari Queen. So we can kill the treasure map with Golgari Queen. We can, you know, use two spells to get rid of the Phoenix or like one spell plus Vraska minus. I don't like love either of those options, honestly. I think I'm just going to get rid of their treasure map with this. And keep this elevator going up. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Yeah, donation decks. Basically, all you have to do is, um, like, whenever you donate, you just pick whatever day and whatever time, like whichever time slot, one, first, second, third, or fourth, and which day you'd like me to play the deck, and I will play the deck. Then I advise that you yield. I'll make use of that later. Um, but there's an info panel with all sorts of information 
about it. Because you cannot trophy your own Phoenix. That would have been great if we could tra trophy our own Phoenix, but we cannot. Um... If I hit the land drop here, which is of course what I'm hoping, I'm going to Liliana minus and Braska minus. And just double minus to take out this Phoenix. I am the master here. Vraska and Liliana is like a really good combination. Fine. Of like Liliana, make a token, Vraska, sack the token, and you draw two cards and gain a life. It's a really good combination. Like maybe I should just do that. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the Phoenix. Maybe I should just tick up. Like I was, I was hoping I would get to, like to be honest, I was hoping I was going to be able to um, untap with those. on what's about to happen. Doesn't really help me. Need to kill a Zugan. So basically anything that's not a Planeswalker removal spell I'm getting rid of. Do we have more Planeswalker removal spells in our sideboard? I don't think we do. Um, for the question about... Need Elder Spell. Secret. Sit back and watch it for you. The question about the Grixis deck. Um, if you also like blue black decks, this was the Dread Horde control deck we played yesterday. And I like that deck quite a bit. I just put a link in the chat. Elder Spell is just too narrow. That's yeah. You know, that, that's basically the problem with Elder Spell. It's just way too narrow. Theater Forest can take out Planeswalkers. Spyglass can take out Planeswalkers. Um, could have a bunch of Duresses. Duress has got to be pretty good in this matchup. Hmm. 
don't think I really have much room for all these duresses. Alright, a handful of removal. We keep on getting this Assassin's Trophy early. It's like something that I want late to like clean up a Planeswalker, but it's it's awful er early. Because you really don't want to give your opponent that land. Keep the Bedevil, where it gets target. Oh, cool, Kalua King. Yeah, the Abzan Citadel deck. That deck is really strong. Convenient time to draw that Golgari Queen. Hope they don't have another Chain Whirler. We could really use one more red source. Dang, never mind. I was going to say another red source. We get Siege Gang, sack one of the tokens, draw a card. Uh, we did get that, but we'll sack the tokens to Bantu. Good replacement for Sorcerer's Spyglass. You can kind of play basically, you can basically play anything you want instead of that card. I'm not like real big on that card. Anyway, I, I don't think that that's really a necessary card in the sideboard. Uh, Spyglass is good against like Teferi and Ascanta. Oh, come on. A third Chain Whirler? Now that's just plain rude. Um... Five six is pretty big. Oh, the second chain whirler has been really rough. And we can just get rid of both of them, I guess, with Angrath and Trophy, but that gives them a land. But I guess that's what we're doing. We're definitely doing this. But yeah, I mean, we're at six. We just have to give them this land. With Narsa and Teferi being such big parts of the metagame, how is Esper still seeing so much play? Counter spells have never been worse. 
I think, well, Esper has a lot of good cards that aren't counter spells. I, I do think Esper needs to move away from Absorb. I don't... I don't think they should be playing as many Absorbs as they do. But I think that Esper... Um... You know, like, Esper, like, tap out control could be really good. They have all sorts of good card advantage and removal. Captivating crew? How the heck do I beat that card? Can't play a creature because they just steal it. You're just no fire, no steel. So it has it just has act it just has act of trees and attached to it. Every exploit ripples through time. Back to the can trades and the storm destroy. Yeah, that crew's gonna kill us. That third chain whirler just got us so bad this game. And yeah, they, they did they did have two coils in, in every single game. So they start with two coils, but Yeah, that's I, I can't do anything here. We are looking really good until that second chain whirler. And then we are still looking good until the third chain whirler. Ugh. The card costs four mana, and Angrath only gets rid of cards that cost three mana or less. If I if I played Phoenix or Bantu as a blocker, they just steal it and then attack with it. Because that's what captivating. Whatever the name of that card does, it steals stuff. Captivating crew, yeah. Um. So yeah, we had we uh, didn't get to do like the the mondo combo of like devil bond too, but we got to do some cool stuff with the deck. Uh, we definitely had a lot of pop, you know, like really powerful cards, which is good. Um. So I think I could see a twenty sixth land. And. Uh, Honestly, like, Lava Coil is the card that we're missing. We should have Lava Coil, not Cast Down. Lava Coil is better than Cast Down. Because we, we really struggle with dealing with Phoenix. We have this Obnixilis' Cruelty, but Lava Coil is better than that. So we could, get like, have our own Lava Coils instead of those kind of things. Um, I kind of hated the trophy. It was always really bad for us. It's like, we had to, like, kill something, and then they gained the, the land that was just really good. This card is just... Pretty awful. Because as we saw, even like that last game, that that extra land let him play like the Ugin. So it did the, the previous two games that we lost. Hey, what's up, Ivan? Where I'd rather just have like more Bedevil. Like I'd rather have Bedevil than Trophy, basically. But I guess, you know, Trophy does kill an enchantment. Whatever. Um, We could maybe use some more sweepers in, in like... The, the 75 for like mono white which you know we didn't see mono white but we could maybe use a little bit more sweepers than one single cry of the carnariums so like maybe like some ritual of set or some more cry of the carnariums also just kind of in the in the deck in general uh the theater of horrors aren't those those aren't really good enough these days unfortunately with all the enchantment hate around and it's just so slow i was really high on this card when i did the ravnica Allegiance set review, but I was definitely really wrong. Fortunately, there's just too much, too many, too much uh, enchantment removal and everything. 
Um, Massacre Girl could be okay. I don't know if we need more fives. Hey, Kurtash. Um, a Casualties of War? I could see that. Casualties of War is pretty cool. I mean, that's a six. But... Um, when is Trophy good? Basically never. But I guess, like, when it's at its best is killing a Teferi against Esper, especially if they already have, like, one of their, like, two or maybe three basics in play already. Um, you know, getting rid of, like, a Wilderness Reclamation that you just have to. But we just kept on having it, like, in our opener. I, pr I probably should have sideboarded it out. Um, uh, yeah, I probably should have sideboarded the card out. But, yeah, there's a lot of cool things going on here. The Devils were pretty sweet. Obviously, Phoenix is good. Bantu is a little disappointing. Didn't get to do a whole lot for it. Liliana, of course, is awesome. I could see, like, Big Vraska in here instead of Vivian, maybe. Not a whole lot of creatures to plus. Maybe Big Vraska. That card's really strong. Maybe some more Contempts. Like, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, killing a flip desk Kanta. Yeah, that's what trophy could be good. All right. Well, if you're watching this video later on uh, on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you were uh, impressed by Mayhem Devil, how it's both creatures, or sorry, both players when they sacrifice permanence. So they can really do some cool stuff there when we have cards like Liliana making both players sacrifice. And whenever they're sacrificing their treasure tokens and uh, you getting to trigger your Mayhem Devil and all that kind of stuff. Um, all right. Uh, so, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, is Ugin better than Big Vraska most of the time? I, I don't know. Um, they're pretty close. Big Vraska ends, the ga end, ends games really fast with being able to ultimate. Uh, but, of course, Ugin can take out Planeswalkers, which is really nice. The thing about Ugin, when Ugin, like if if you're assuming they're both going to minus, you'd rather be minusing Vraska because it has more loyalty than Ugin drops down to one loyalty after it minuses, which is kind of tough. Um, but Ugin's plus is better with how you gain cards from the the plus. But so basically, I like I like as long as it's a, a target that they, they would have both killed, I like Vraska's minus but more. <clears throat> Oh, well. So, yeah, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you hit that subscribe button over there. But uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you for another video.